All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the F1 Manager. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to our F1 Manager 2022 playthrough. We are back here for round six, uh, the Spanish Grand Prix at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. Now, if you missed the last race at Miami, we had a bit of a strategy debacle there where we should have probably finished 1-2 and, and ended up finishing 1-4, but that's fine. We are still sitting atop the constructor standings and the driver standings, although just barely ahead of Max Verstappen, but Oscar Piastri not that far behind. So if we go and look at the circuits, we can take a look at the Spanish Grand Prix where we won last year with Alex and Max won the year before or, or two years before. And I just realized this, you can actually see what parts every team has already used. And apart from Giovinazzi down here on his second gearbox. We are the only team that has jumped onto uh, our second engine and our second gearbox. So uh, not really good for us as we had to jump really early to those extra parts, but uh, that's fine. We have plenty of parts anyway, and we have $29 million now. So helipad refurbishment complete post-race overview. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. 11 days left. What do we have side pods 11 days hopefully that will come in on the start of the weekend we can probably emergency manufacture that do we have any points to distribute oliver has one point to distribute we will put it into i think we'll put it into braking just to kind of round that up as well let's take a look at the staff nope no nope. oh our engineers get one we will put it into feedback what does feedback do car set up during practice sessions okay and for Gaetan we will also do feedback yeah 79 79 83 so that is good let's check out our facilities nothing going on in the car development facilities team hub being refurbished and weather center being upgraded so nothing going on there we have nothing else to do so let's go ahead and simulate this to the race weekend Please give us... Okay, so the design will be complete on Friday. Side pods are done. Zero days left. Let us go and emergency manufacture. God damn, $1.5 million to emergency manufacture. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Even rushed, it's going to take... 10 days when is next race oh shit the next race is in seven days you know it might be worth it to emergency manufacture the side pods we have almost 30 million dollars in our budget and we're gonna miss two races if we if we manufacture them normally so let's just go ahead yeah i'm gonna take the hit i'm gonna take the hit put that on there and let us go take a look um what's this ah blah 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 let's go and guarantee this stuff okay well, let's take a look at the car analysis where are we Ooh. okay we've taken a bit of a hit in low speed did red bull bring in some upgrades although our top speed is okay let's take a look at the values here Let's see, Red Bull. Um, no. Okay, so that's not Red Bull. Red Bull's actually dropped in cornering and dirty air cornering. What is the values? So they're still at 376.35. It'll take us a little while to catch up to that. I don't know if the engine has anything to do with that. Um, and, and acceleration, we're only off by 0 0.001 Gs, so that's not too bad. Top, DRS top speed, we're not off by much either, so that's not too bad. We're matched in acceleration. If Red Bull is not first in low speed cornering, who is? Is it Mercedes? No, they are 11th. Is it Ferrari? No. McLaren? No. Is it Alpine? Not Alpine. That's not one of these teams, is it? Alfa Romeo's fourth. It's Aston Martin? Holy shit. Aston Martin was a backmarker team. 
Look at their cornering and their dirty air cornering. Uh, but only Seb is ahead? Um, oh. <laughs> okay, so they brought in a bunch of developments, but they only put it on Seb's car. Y Yuki is getting screwed. Look at the difference between these cars. Yuki's car is still pretty much a back marker car. But Seb's car looks like he could be... I mean, other than top speed and acceleration, which is still pretty bad, but um, cornering-wise, the Aston Martin jumped up quite a bit. All right, well, we have to keep an eye on the Aston Martin now, I guess. Um, all right, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, what was, where was Red Bull again? Red Bull is fifth, third, fifth, fifth, third, third. Okay. So other than Aston Martin in the low speed cornering aspect, or, or Seb's Aston Martin in the low speed aspect of this, we are the best car in cornering, which is good because that's pretty much what Spain is other than this um, the start finish straight and then the short little DRS straight in the back. So that will be interesting to see. I will take care of practice. I will see you guys for the start of quali. All right, boys and girls, we have just finished with practice and look at this 100% setup confidence with Oscar and 95 with Alex. So we are looking really, really good here. Um, do we want to try that? Let's give that a shot. I mean, yeah, let's just give that a shot. We're we're affecting oversteer. We're affecting affecting cornering and a little bit of traction. So I mean, it can't can't get any like worse than like a ninety. I think so. We should be okay. Let's get the new components back on here. I think I'm going to keep the ERS component on 65% is still pretty decent. We only have three of those anyway, so I don't want to be going through them, through them too badly. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's go into qualifying. Why? Why do I only have two sets of softs? Mother. Did they use up? Did my, do they both have, okay, so I suppose when I simulated through practice, they must have used a whole bunch of soft tires. God damn it. I don't remember, I'm trying to remember now, I should have watched the video of the last season's run, how many stops it'll be. Green now, green now. You know what's weird too I noticed is why isn't Williams at the front of the pit lane? We, I think, we, I'm pretty sure we won the constructors last year and we are still third from last in the pit lane here, which is really odd. We should be up here where the Mercedes are, but maybe F1 manager just doesn't upgrade that or update that um, throughout the seasons because I'm pretty sure this is pretty much how the cars or the teams finished in 2021 anyway um so uh we are going to try and save as many tires as we can i think this is a two-stop race i'm not sure so i want to save as many softs as we can just in case the softs are a good race tire actually you know what let me check 36 laps i think spain has a good amount of laps like 60 or 70 so maybe maybe we should try and save as many stops as we can all right we're just going to do one run here in q1 if we if we can if we hit top five i'm going to have them only do one run so we'll wait until the 10 minute mark once again try to find a gap all right what's a good gap maybe right after jack Let's do that. Hopefully Norris doesn't catch up.
Okay, Jack's going into the pit lane now. All right, we good? Is Norris on a fast lap? Damn it, I think he is. Oh, he's going to catch up to us. God damn it. Please don't catch up to Norris. Ah, we caught up to Norris at terrible spots. Please don't make it top five. Please don't make it top five. Oh, okay. No, I, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Red Bull's dropped a little bit in the car analysis. They are now third and fifth in some categories. So we are... I think we're good. I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to have them come out for another run. Let's just go 16x here. And see... Yeah, these guys are going to have to make up like a whole second to beat us. So... I don't see that happening anytime soon. Look at Perez in the Ferrari. Signs in the Ferrari as well. P10. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Checkered Good flag. Session. All right, let's see. Is anybody improving? Uh, some improvements, but nobody close to us. Okay. So who got knocked out? Jack Duan, Lance Stroll, Yuki Sonoda, Giovinazzi, and Schumacher versus Vettel. Only P13. That's a bit disappointing. They are lacking straight line speed, but you don't really need too much straight line speed at Spain. There's only one or two really long straights anyway. Okay, let's go again. We're going to put, what was Alex on? 93? God damn it, we moved down. Oh, that's never good. Okay, um, we'll put them on the scrub sets again. And then we will just do one run again. If we are still in the top five, I'm going to leave them, not have them do a run. I want to have one new set of sauce for the race. Ooh, excuse me. All right, let's go. So we'll wait till about the 10 minute mark once again. Not too many people going out early here. Only about four people or so. All right, we'll send them out right now. Not too much traffic. Okay. So these guys are either about to start a fast lap or about to come into the pits. So we shouldn't be catching up to any of these guys. Ah, oh, Verstappen just came out of the pit box. Or pit lane. God damn it, Max. Where are we? Alright, still professional pole. That's good. Let's see where the Red Bulls end up. Mm, here they come. Wow, not close. Okay, so we are still... I think I might... I think we're okay. I, I think I'm not going to send them out. Because look at this. Norris on down have to find six tenths over six tenths of a second to even jump us why is nobody's coming out what the hell <laughs> what is going on here nobody's coming out that was odd nobody is it raining it's not raining why didn't anybody come out that was weird i've never seen that before and nobody came out for their final run Okay, um, K-Mag, Sainz, Vettel, Cho Guan Yu, and Sergio Perez all knocked out. How much faster are we? Not that much faster. Only a couple tenths faster. All right. So, let us continue. Um, I think I'll start them on the scrub sets once again, and then we will do a final run on the new sets just so that we have a brand new set for the race i can't remember if this is a one or a two stop race all right here we go again all right i'll wait for gasly to make his way around maybe even leclerc to make his way around all right, sorry about that, guys. Computer crashed to desktop in the middle of qualifying. Now, I think we're going to have to send them out right now or else we're not going to make it back in time. All right, only takes about a minute and 16 seconds to get around anyway. We should be fine. Come on, boys, come on, boys. Get back in time. 
Let's see how well we do on scrub sets here. P1 and P5. Wow, it's really close there at the top. Are we going to get back in time? Please get back in time. Remember, we are on used sets. So once we put them on new sets, we should be okay. Okay, new set. New set. And look at that, just in time. Um, we should send Piastri out first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I sent Alvin out first. Damn it. Well, Piastri is on provisional pole. Let's see. Come on, I want to see some green sectors, guys. Green sectors. Green, purple would be even better. We got green, purple. Nice. Green, purple. Nice. 16-2. Where did we end up? Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. So we are P1 and P3. Not terrible. Not terrible. P1 and P3. How much off were we? God, Lee, look at Oscar Piastri. Two and a half tenths faster than Max. Yep, two and a No, actually, three and a half tenths faster than Max. And Alex, uh, not too far behind Max either. So, let's see. Did we make a good choice in saving a set of sauce? We've been doing it in the last few races, and it hasn't really worked out. Okay, okay, I think it might have worked out here. I think it might have worked out. Medium, medium, soft. Two. Um, what if we try to do a one? Hmm. I mean, a one stopper might make it, but we will be. We won't be able to push that much. We'll be able to push a little bit, but not much at all. How does this compare to. Oh, it says the two stop is 12 seconds faster. I think we might just stick with the two-stop, especially with Oscar and his terrible um, tire management. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go medium, medium softs. We will just keep an eye on the Red Bulls to see what they do. Can we add any extra fuel? Yeah, we can. Just a little bit. We're going to push like hell on the first lap, and hopefully Alex can overtake Max. They didn't look super quick in qualifying until that last round. I don't know if that was Alex screwing up or if that was Red Bull upping their game in that last qualifying round. So let's go ahead here. I don't want to see anybody on softs. Please don't let me see anybody starting on softs. This is it. It's the Spanish Grand Prix. Oh, looks, uh, there's some people on softs, but it looks like the Red Bulls are on mediums. It's lights out and away we go. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. We got a little bit of tire left to work with, so we might as well just go ahead and push on the tires. And we have plenty of fuel. Alex is a little bit better at tire management, and we need him to overtake um, Verstappen. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, let's go. Can we get this? Looks like we can. Looks like we can. I'm going to have him not fight either. Wow, even Ocon got by um, Verstappen. And Ricardo, and too. Just gained by Williams. Not a very good start for Max there. I well, managed to take that position back from Ricardo, but... All right. We're not fighting here, guys. We are just racing. We are trying to extend that gap. Look at this. We're already almost a second ahead of Ocon. And we have done it. We'll let them push for a little while longer. Actually, that might be okay now. We'll settle down now. Yellow sector one, no safety car. Holy crap, we are gapping them like crazy. All right, let's go into 8X right away. Ocon is slowing down Verstappen, which is good. What tires everybody on? A couple softs, couple hards, but mostly mediums. All right, DRS is enabled. All right, we are good. Gap is at three seconds and counting as well. Still don't know if they're going for a one-stop or not. So we're going to try to go a little bit easy on these tires, or at least not push on these tires really early on. 
Yeah. And that gap is still going. I never realized how short this track is. Spain, anyway. The lap is only about a minute 22. And qualifying laps were like in the 117s, 116s, I think. 115s, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I'm getting faster and faster, though. 1219, 120.17, yeah. And we're full of fuel and on slow tires as well. So, uh, what are we up now? Five seconds to Verstappen, who's made his way very, back very out good. in front. Not good. Not good. Okay, I think I'll let them fight for a little bit. See if they can use DRS to get themselves further away from this group. So we see in a few trains popping up now. We got the two Williams at the front. And then we have the Red Bulls, Mercedes, and Bottas in the second one. Faster slope. All right. And then it looks like McLaren and Ferrari together in this third group. And then the fourth group and the back markers there. Ricardo, I could have sworn... That Ricardo made it to Q3. How is he in P17? Did he get a grid penalty somewhere? I don't know. They're fighting. They're fighting. All right. So we are still at six and a half right now. Maybe I shouldn't let them fight. It does seem like they're slowing each other down a little bit. But then again, they are using DRS to kind of extend from these guys. So six and a half seconds. If we hit eight seconds, I'll, ha I'll let them keep fighting. But if we're, no, oh, we're hitting seven seconds now. Okay, all right. Stop fighting. These guys are going off track and everything. We'll just let Piastri lead for now. I'm going to keep an eye on when these guys stop for tires. 6.8. Are we going to see it go up? 7 seconds. Yeah, I think it's smarter to not allow them to fight. They're just slowing each other down. Okay, this might be a pretty boring race. Let's go 16x for a little while, see if that brings out any drama here. 7.3, 7.5. Yeah, we're still extending the gap a little bit. Just a few tenths per lap. Staying pretty nominal for now. That sounds like someone's gone wide okay, there. so we just entered the pit window. Oh, Leclerc, Leclerc, Leclerc running wide. Watch this. There's Leclerc. Uh, that's that's not like much of going wide at all. All right, so we are entering our pit window. Let's see if... And the soft runner should be coming in soon. There we go. We have Bottas, Russell. Pretty much all of the soft runners coming in. They're going on to the mediums, which means they'll probably do another pit stop. Not quite sure if Verstappen is going to be doing a one stop or not. Okay, so let's see. No? Okay, never mind. For stopping coming in. Alright, let's push on these tires then. We might as well do a two-stopper here. Is Leclerc going to come in? Or Yes, he is coming in. Okay, so we'll kill these tires till about 40% and then we will bring them in. Good golly, they have a bunch of fuel. Looks like there's been a lockup. Oh, Vettel, Vettel. I was expecting him Taking to perform well here. He's all by himself, too. And yes, that's the tisk, tisk. All right, what's the gap now? 22 seconds to Magnussen. What tires? Oh, he's on the hards. And Ocon is 8 seconds behind him. So I think we're good here. 31 seconds to the next... Um, car that has already pitted is the gap growing at all oh no it's pretty much staying the same okay so whoops we have him coming in now
and then him coming in. All right, so we're still out in front. Six seconds in front of Okan. And Alex is pretty much caught up to the back of Piastri. Piastri does have better pace. He qualifies much better, but Alex seems to do much better in the actual races. Let's burn up this fuel. We're pretty heavy on fuel here. If we get a safety car, I don't want to be... <clears throat> too heavy with fuel, so let's go and burn through some of that right now. And look at that, Alex is already back up into the DRS of Oscar. Alright, for now I'm not having them fight just so that we can let the gap grow a little bit. We are at 10 seconds now to Verstappen. What tire is he on? He's on the mediums. Energy's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pretty boring race, guys. Not really much going on here, but I, I am enjoying the domination that we are seeing. All right, I'll let them fight again. I wish there was a, a command to just let pass on the DRS straight and then not fight through the rest of the track, just so they can leapfrog each other and, and grow the gap a little bit more. This way now, they're just fighting throughout the entire track. So they do gain a little bit of time on the DRS straights, but then they're losing time in the corners because they're fighting so hard. All right, but the gap's still going. 13 seconds. Ocon and Verstappen's fighting. Where is Vettel? Vettel, Jesus, all the way down P16. I figured he would have been able to fight his way back up through the grid, uh, but apparently not. All right, so... Oh, looks like we should be able to make it to the end on these mediums here, actually. Okay, let's see if we can. Let's hope there isn't a late safety car. If the other teams commit to a two-stop, I might come in right at the end to try and get the fastest lap. <coughs> Because everybody switches on to what, okay, uh, whoop, is this a safety car? No, not a safety car. I think that was a crash. Ooh, Let's Leclerc. Have a I thought we it was going to be a safety car. How huh, bad? <clears throat> Apologies for my voice, guys. I'm a bit phlegmy. I'm that trying to quit smoking my vape pen. Just very phlegmy today. Okay, so is he out? No, he's still in there. He's pitting now. 18 seconds to Verstappen. Is he going to come in or is he going to the end? I think he has to come in. He started on the mediums, right? Yeah, we're going to have to come in again as well because we started on the mediums. Okay, there they go. Okay. Have we already lapped t uh, drivers? Yes, we have. All right. Well, just had a car run wide. Schumacher Let's take a look running at wide. The replay. Right. Watch this. There's Schumacher. Well, I don't know. What that wasn't too terrible. Okay, so we will kill these tires. We'll come in on the softs, and then we will try and get our fastest lap. Verstappen currently has it. Is he on the softs? Yes, he is. Where are we? Okay, about to lap some more traffic. You know, let's lighten the car up a little bit, actually. Okay, right. So we do have a new set. Oh, 
Where is Piastri? Alright, so Alex should be coming in right about now, and then we will let Piastri start his fastest lap run as soon as he comes out of this final chicane. Good. Nice clean air out in front of him as well. Is he going to get out in front of Alex? Yes, he is. Okay. Alright. We'll do the same thing for Alex. We'll let Piastri finish up his fastest lap. That's good. And we'll do this just in case Alex catches up to the back of him. I don't think that will be the case, but just in case we do. Alright, so Piastri currently with the fastest lap. Alex did not get it. Did he get it this time? Okay, so we got it that time. That's good. Not that it gives us any points, but it does help us with the um, sponsorship uh, performance targets. Do I want Oscar to win this race? Ooh, I don't know. I think maybe for now, for the sake of the championship, we have to let Alex win the race. I hate to do this. Sorry, Oscar. Hey, come on. Everybody's got their own biases, right? All right, so we want Alex to win this again. This is his team after all. We'll go on board for the final uh, final lap here. I do like what they did with the new the Spanish track here. I like this new corner here. I do wish they'd um, get rid of this last chicane and go back to the old format where you just slingshot around here. Just one corner at the end and get rid of this chicane here. It really ruins the flow of the track, but um, the minimal changes that they have made it has made the track a little bit better, but the track is still pretty, or the race is still pretty much boring to watch. But a little bit at a time, I suppose. And in, in what's odd is in an in interview with Leclerc when speaking of the Abu Dhabi changes, Leclerc actually liked the track the old way, as opposed to the new way, um, which is also really odd. I think the new the new layout of the track makes for much better racing, but I guess it's not quite as fun to drive in. But anyway. That was a nice and decisive victory for us. 27 seconds better, faster than the next fastest car, which would be Esteban Ocon in the Mercedes, which is odd because the Mercedes is much worse than the Red Bull when you look at the car analysis. So the fact that Ocon got P3 and a podium beat both Red Bulls and actually beat Leclerc by a whole pit stop pretty much and they only had two stops although Leclerc did have and Leclerc went into the wall I think yeah I remember that now so that would explain it but it works out for us anyway we are currently atop the driver's standings now 124 points for Alex 101 points for Oscar who is also leaped frog Max Verstappen I don't think that's gonna stay like this for too long as Verstappen, Verstappen finishing P4 doesn't happen too often. So we will enjoy it while it lasts. And in the constructor standings, we are now about 45, 35, maybe 60 points or so. 60, 60, yeah, 60 points. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51 points. 61 points. I can't do the math. 25 and 36 is 56, 61 points. That's what it is. We are 61 points ahead of Red Bull right now. So a good 
Good uh, race for us. Do we get any experience points? Well, Oscar certainly gets one. Does Oliver get one? Oliver gets one as well. We ran him in FP1. So that is good for us. Coming home with $4.4 .4 million, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Alex does get a development point. Okay. Oh, God. Up next is Monaco. I don't know if we have the car for that. We do have the best cornering speed. So that might help us out. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I have earned it, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Remember to eat a bok choy. It's important to eat your leafy greens. It's good for your body, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.